Here's a 30 second version of today's video, but you gotta do me a favor and hit that like button, comment, and thanks for the summary. The Godox V1 and the Godox 8100 Pro both have a green color cast. This can be problematic, especially if you're using it to balance with other strobes that do not have a color cast, as especially on neutral backgrounds, you're gonna see a slight green tint to wherever these flashes hit. You can fix this green color cast by using a Li 803 filter for the Godox 8100 Pro, or a Li 804 magenta filter on the Godox V1. You can cut a small circle on these gels and then use the AKR1 gel holder to hold them in place, or you can do what I did, take off the front glass and put it in between the Fresnel lens and the diffuser glass so that you don't need any additional accessories to have a perfectly neutral flash. In August of 2021, Paul Richardson wrote an article the Godox 8100 Pro is unusable for pro photography. Obviously that article headline is about as clickbaity as it gets, but I think what Paul was really trying to call attention to is just the color imbalance that it causes because you can use an 8100 Pro for pro photography. I've done it plenty. However, it does have an issue that shows up most notably when you are balancing it with another strobe that does not have the same tint issue. Here's an example. When I use the Godox 8100 Pro to light the background in a three light setup of portraits, I do notice the imbalance on the background. I notice that the background is a little bit greenish and I also know that the light that bounces back onto my subject that kind of lights them on the edges also has a little bit of a green color cast to it. Now, I love my Godox 8100 Pros. I now find them essential to my kit. I use two of these and an 8300 Pro, and that's all that is in my on location kit, and it just suits my needs perfectly. So I really don't wanna give them up over a little bit of a green color cast. So I decided to figure out how can I fix it so it's not showing up in those headshot scenarios where I am lighting a neutral background. Also, in the Godox user group on Facebook, I've seen in conversations about the 8100 Pro's green tint issue, I've seen people talk about the Godox V1 having the same issue, having a slight green tint that does not balance well with other more neutral strobes. And this is all kind of surprising because at least in their Pro series of lighting, the Godox 8300 Pro, 400 Pro, 600 Pro, 1200 Pro, 200 Pro, all have exceptional color qualities. The color temperature does not change much as you change the output of the strobe, but they also have really good tint in that they do not have any green or magenta color cast. So why do these two have a green issue? The first thing I wanna say is that the green tint issue on these two lights is not the same. I mean, take a look at these two Fresnel heads right here. The Godox 8100 Pro here on the right has significantly more of a color cast than the V1, which looks pretty darn neutral. Now, in trying to resolve this, this led to me cracking open these flashes, which is really simple. It's just taking off this black ring on the top. There are four screws that keep it down. Warning, if you do this, take out the four screws and take off the top and start poking around in here, you're probably voiding your warranty. I'm not really sure, but if you don't wanna avoid your warranty, please don't do it. Now, both of these flashes have a two lens system. This is the Fresnel head, this is the diffuser cap. They go directly over top of each other and they sit directly atop of the flash tube. And as you zoom in on the flash, the flash tube will get further away, which will project a tighter beam of light through the Fresnel lens and through the diffuser cap. Now, if I take off the diffuser cap on the 100 Pro and I compare it to the Godox V1, there's no difference. It is the exact same piece. However, this is the Fresnel head to the Godox V1 and this is the Fresnel head to the Godox 8100 Pro you can clearly see that green tint, greenish yellow tint on the Fresnel glass for the V1. Now you may look at this and just think, oh, it's a manufacturing defect. They couldn't have meant to put this out with this color tint to it. I feel like if that were the case, then Godox would have long resolved it by now, right? Like this would have gone out on the first, I don't know, 10,000 units. And then after that, they would have corrected it once people started complaining about it and then got a perfectly neutral cap. I mean, they already have the part. Why wouldn't they do that? No, I don't think that's it. Instead, I think that this green tinted Fresnel head is actually here to resolve another issue. And I'm gonna see if I can confirm that right now using this, a Siconic C800 colorometer. All right, so I'm gonna take a reading of this Godox V1 here. Without any lenses, the Godox V1 registers a 0.3G, which means it has a slight magenta tint. The CCI reading on there, 0.3G, means you would need a 0.3G filter in order to correct the magenta tint that it has. But if we throw its lenses back on and we do another reading, 
Now look, we have a 0.1 M. So we have a very little green cast that would require a 0.1 magenta gel in order to correct that green cast. So I'm willing to bet if I take this lens off and fire it at this Conic C800, I bet you this has a ridiculous magenta tint to it and they used a ridiculous green lens to offset that magenta tint. And there it is, 0.4G, which means that without any glass in front of it, this tube has a quite significant magenta cast. And therefore, Godox decided to use a significant green lens to offset that and try to bring it more neutral. However, it went too far the other way. And so if we test it with the lenses back on, we get a 0.6M, which means we have a significant green color cast now because this lens just went way too far the other direction. In fact, I'm willing to bet if I just take this one from the Godox V1 and put it on my A100 Pro, we'll practically have a neutral light. Oh my God, it is, it's perfect. All they had to do was use the exact same piece and they would have got a perfectly neutral light. Now. That tint issue is going to change depending a little bit on the power level. So this may not be perfect at all power levels, but it's perfect at 1 16th. There is no tint when you use that V1 glass. Also, no, that is not the uh, solution that I am proposing for you to, to fix this with. So I also wanted to figure out how you can solve this apart from using the V1 Fresnel head on the 8100 Pro, because that's a pretty ridiculous solution but it is a solution. I took my Sekonic C800 colorometer and then I tested the 8100 Pro and the V1 at every power level to figure out the average tint that these lights experience so that we could find one gel that would pretty much offset them and bring them down to almost truly neutral across their entire power range. And so what I found is the Li 803 gel that is what you would need for the 8100 Pro. You can't buy them like this. You have to buy a whole sheet of them and then cut your own gels on there. But Li 803 for the 8100 Pro and a Li 804 gel for the Godox V1. Now you have two options when it comes to fixing these two lights and making them truly neutral so they will balance with the other strobes like the 8300 Pro, 400 Pro, 600 Pro, 1200 Pro. You can cut yourself a little circle out of the gel. You can use the AKR1 gel holder and put it on top, hold it in place. But I wanted a solution that required nothing that would basically permanently fix this. So here's what I am doing. Take off the four screws, take off the ring, take off the diffuser cap, and I am putting the Li 803 directly over top of the Fresnel head just like that. Then I'm putting the diffuser cap back on, putting the rings back on, and putting the four screws back in place so that without any AKR1 adapter, I have a truly neutral strobe. Now this does come with a very small power loss of 0.3 stops. Now I wanna be clear here, I just kinda of went through and I was like, oh, this is what Godox was trying to do and they were trying to fix it and make this neutral and it just kind of got out of hand. This was not a justification of what happened, merely an explanation of what happened. And if I had my choice, Godox would just put this Fresnel head on the 8100 Pro so they, we got a truly neutral 8100 Pro and then address whatever kind of correction they would need for the Godox V1 to then have a perfectly neutral tint. I mean, that. That's how it should be in my opinion. That was not me trying to justify this. I don't think you should have to do this. So just wanna be clear there. All right, Flash Nerds, now you know why the Godox 8100 Pro and the Godox V1 both have a tint issue. You have a solution to resolve that. One that is not invasive and one that is a little bit more permanent. Remember, may affect your warranty and no guarantees that that gel will not burn up over using at full power over and over and over again. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this either resolved the issue if you were dealing with it, or maybe if you were questioning whether or not to buy the 100 Pro, this solidified your decision. If this was helpful in any ways, please give the video a like, subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.